What's up, guys? I got a special treat for y'all. I'm over here visiting my buddy Matt Serwa up in Wisconsin, and uh, he took me to his overflow for Serwa's Speed Shop, and we're checking out all his cool toys. This is the overflow that don't really fit in his shop, so we are just looking through a couple cool little bikes, 87SX, another 87SX, lots of TRX 250Rs. Got his wife's Trans Am up top, which you can't see, but sweet little car. Beautiful Camaro. Nicely built, 383 stroker with a supercharger on it. A couple of cool bikes here. Nice 85 250SX, 87 250ES, big reds. One of the rarest treats probably known to man here is this Frank's Quad. I think this is only the only one ever built. And, uh... No, none other known to exist. I'm glad I got to see it. Pretty cool machine here. Rotax powered side induction. Basically straight flat track built here. And right near it, she has a sister to it. Frank's three wheeler. Same thing. Rotax built. This one is not a side induction, but awesome machine nonetheless. Right behind it, you got this 85 350X with all the Honda line accessories. Got the over fenders, got the front skid plate tack on it it like guards the rear oval fenders it's awesome machines 85 350x here beautiful machine 89 trx 250rs i mean just awesome little toy box here it uh we got a couple other goodies it's hard to get around because they pack tight but 89 trx 88 trx another 87 big red there's a lot of goodies over here. There's a hood rats in action. Got my buddy Matt Serwa and Jason Arwin. Troublemakers in the making. Got me out here in this white cocaine looking stuff. I don't know what that is, but we don't have that in Louisiana. All in all, nice little overflow garage here. So we're gonna get to part part two of it shortly at Serwa's Speed Shop. Enjoy. Be the second part of the Serwa Speed Shop collection. Pretty incredible stuff here. As you can see, you may have seen some of this in my previous videos. Like this Kajiva here came here for some repairs at the shop, get it running and tuned a little. And uh, I've had several of these machines through our shop in the south, and some of them we have not. Incredible, incredible stuff here that Matt has. He's been a collector for quite a while. Got really big into it in the last few years. He was a lifelong enthusiast, had these bikes when he was young. And as you can see, he has some of the best of the best stuff. I mean, he just, incredible machines. I built quite a few of these engines for him. In fact, I know for a fact I did this one here. These three Tri-Z engines. Uh, he has a couple more that I may get to dabble with later. Spare Tiger 500 engine. I mean, who has that? How cool is that? But just uh, real nice stuff here. Completely vapor honed. Uh, Yamaha, oh, I'm sorry, uh, ATC 250R engine with an ESR top end. Nice stuff. And here's the meat and potatoes of his collection. As you can see, not exactly an amateur collector here. Um, just some really nice stuff. Everything's, you know, either top shape or getting there. He is, and I guess you'd call it amateur semi-pro restorer. Uh, he is doing some of his own stuff as we go. This is one. He keeps pointing to it, so that's his, that's his baby. That's it. That's the holy grail of the shop. This one actually came through our shop. We did the final assembly on it. This was started by our buddy Bob Burton in Ohio and was quite a few years in the making, and we actually did the wrap-up on it. So, awesome machine as well. Got to finish it. Glad we did. 
and just so many cool machines, so much cool stuff here. This is a custom build he's doing, him and his guys. Um, just really nice quality stuff. If I did, couldn't stand, if I could stand the cold weather, I'd probably come work up here full time for Matt. But as you can see, it's uh, nice and cold outside, so not for me. Really cool collection. Lots of good fenders. We polished a few sets of these out. Pile of new old stock parts. TRX is for days. 700XX. Tiger Super 4 four-wheeler. This one actually came through our shop as well. And pretty incredible machine. We did a... I don't remember if we did a full restoration or a final restoration on it, but we did a good bit of this one. And did the final assembly came up here this was sold from a guy in washington another collector friend of ours and just bikes on bikes and bikes just jason ardwin actually built this one this one's come through our shop in louisiana for some engine work i think we did the bottom end repair on it just really awesome collection 85 tries the 85 and a half 86 custom 250 R's for days. I mean, why wouldn't you want 20 250 R's? I mean, who wouldn't? So you got a row of 250 R's, you got a row of 350 X's, you got a sweet custom blue 250 R's. Pretty fond of. I always did like the blue and white. A couple 86, 87, 350 X's. This is a row. Nice 86 Ducati, 289s, 87, 250 R. And this is the money of the lot here. Incredible machines. This is a Matt Roby build. I think Matt might have finished it up. Camex, vintage short track build. Uh, Tiger 250, third gen, call it the R3 is what it was it was a dual radiator build this is an older restoration really nicely done quality bike just really awesome machine tiger 200 we had through our shop i think we did the full restoration on this one if i remember right uh, tiger 125 here that's a really rare machine i think we also did the full restoration on it or maybe the final restoration i think that one had some engine issues This one here, this this here is probably the neatest of the ones I've seen. It's an original blue wide front tire Tiger 250. What's really awesome about this one, and rest in peace, Rob, but it has the only known Selvi top end with a power valve. So really awesome piece of history. This is an original bike, unrestored, with a Selvi top end, side induction intake, just incredible machine. I mean, this is uh, this is what every kid dreams about whenever they're little. Beautiful FL 400, about as nice as you can get. Really nice 87 TRX 250 I mean, it's just uh, this is every kid's candy shop. Matt's got it set up like you know you couldn't even imagine how awesome it is. Just the coolest shop around. I would say this is probably second in the country only to Banky. And it wouldn't take long to catch back up because uh, Matt's on a roll and buying and collecting and rebuilding. And it is uh, incredible stuff here. So glad I got to see it in person and I'm glad you're going to get to see it too. Hope you enjoy. last and final segment of matt's collection his junk pile which is like every other guy in the country's wish list this is a pile of new old stock tires all kind of rare and cool stuff hidden in there and a couple of nice originals and a few other bikes that are going to get eventually done and grown up and moved over to the inside a lot 
one him and his son are working on, so that's a pretty cool build. West Coast Swing Arm 86 250, 200X. Little SX build. A couple of nice things in here, but this is Matt's junk pile. Like I said, this would still be somebody's wish list here. So, thanks for watching. Every time there's something expensive for sale, he calls me.